so new drugs can be tested on it first before putting humans at potential risks. Now this system is very valuable because we can actually use it to predict how a novel drug compound is going to affect humans before it ever reaches human clinical trials. And potentially give a far more accurate indication of how a new medication would affect actual humans. Typically, drugs are tested on animals first. The problem is that animals and humans are fundamentally different. We have different biological characteristics. A human heart, for example, is not the same thing as an animal heart. So understanding how a drug is going to affect a human heart is very difficult to predict. To create this artificial heart, cells are first taken from an adult human, then genetically modified in the lab. We have, I'm going to call it a period of maturation, where we are taking our cells, we're putting it into the bioreactor, and we allow it to form the heart tissue. And they say this type of technology could fight viruses like the coronavirus by fast-tracking drug development and testing, which could mean it becomes available to the public a lot sooner. Shelley Robando, Action 7 News. Los Alamos is also working on other artificial organs, including lungs and liver.